hi guys so i put my hair in i hadn't braided my hair obviously washed it and then when i wash it i put it in bantu notes like i twist it and then wrap it around and then i have recently started like when i head right i'm gonna head right like knot by knot by knot so that each hair is like even you know is to its length because when i do everything all together or do it into four pieces my hair is still unequal and it annoys me because now it's not at its full length and i know that i'm gonna head dry it and i'm gonna do whatever i do it's gonna shrink my hair shrinks so quick but either way i'm gonna show you how i basically what i basically do after i wash my hair yeah because i washed it and then the ones at the back i have hair dried it's only these two left because it's like i'm not gonna show you guys the whole process because that's just gonna be time consuming you know and boring so i'm just gonna show you how i do these two and then i'm gonna show you the final look or how i start my hair and if you see the way like if you really like check why what am i saying i'm saying that my phone fell because i have i broke my tripod and i put it on my market obviously it's gonna slip i just didn't think of it because i thought it was balanced or whatever but clearly it's not okay let's just start this whole thing so basically i'm just gonna these two are wet so my hair's still wet clearly it's still wet yeah it is still wet so i don't actually i'm not gonna comb through my hair i have like my combs here at least. i use this one to detangle my hair and obviously this one because it's an afro and that. but i don't i actually don't i used to head dry and comb and no i don't do that anymore i just hold my hair and like i stretch it and then i take my hair dryer let me just illustrate real quickly It's getting where I want it to be. I don't use my comb anymore because I don't know. I feel like it's hurting my hair because it's still wet. Like it's still in a sensitive state. So I don't like using my comb anymore. And I feel like this is working quite well. And it's retaining like it's length, I guess. Yeah, basically this is how it looks. After and I stop here. I'm not going to go further because I don't know. I just feel like it's enough. And then I just try to, you know. I actually didn't have a lot of blackish. Like so far, this is the only hair I lost. Like this. So I think it's doing quite well. And I literally just took here. And then I twist it. Don't ask me why. I'll show you why. I twist it again. It's pretty i twist it again and then what i do is i can just <laughs> and please don't ask me why the top of my head dries my chair I, I i honestly find that thing annoying like i didn't get the point of it and then i removed it and then i lost it i think and then after i removed it and then i learned the pu the purpose of it and then by the end, I think it's lost or oh, it's somewhere in my drawers. I just don't know. And then, yeah, I put it into a knot again. And I'm going to do the other one. And then I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to show you why I put it in knots again. Okay? Okay? Yeah. I literally just forgot that I didn't show you guys how I actually um, put it into knots. So, obviously, separate it into two, right? And then you're going to twist tightly or loosely, whatever you prefer. I kind of do it like... Not too tight, but also like not too loose. Okay, and then after twisting it all the way, this is how I do the knot, okay? I pull this part, like here, right? I pull here on the roots, and then I take this part, and I just twist it around the lifted end, right? To make kind of like a loop, you see that? 
And then I keep on going. And if somebody tells me I look dusty, girl, shut the hell up. Like, I was doing my watch day. I am so okay. I'm not drinked. I'm lying. Anyways, so yeah, that's how I put it to buns. This one is a bit bigger, but then that's how I do it. And my reason for that is I want to moisturize my scalp because I keep in my braids for like long, like one and a half month or two months. Because I know that when I'm going to school, I'm not going to take like care of my hair as well as i would if i had time because i don't have time so i don't wanna like you know ruin my hair's growth or whatever so i keep it in braids i mean i can braid today and braid it tomorrow because it's during school times you know and then when i have time like right now then i take the braids off and obviously i wash my hair so obviously i my hair was like filled with too many oils because i really moisturized my hair um so now i washed it i put in what do you call this thing shampoo and i tied like a plastic and i wore it for like i think four hours or five hours i just wanted it to get in there because it's been so long i wanted to clean up everything and then after that happened then i washed it off and now i washed it off and obviously it's been in soap for so long that even the natural oils that my hair has are probably like washed out so um i'm gonna use this i don't know what the lid is i think it's in my wardrobe but i'm gonna use this this is like amla oil hair food i think you guys if you're a girl and you really like have an afro i think or you do braids you know that there's an oil like a green oil the amla green oil that one works as well i just don't use it because i feel like it's too oily so yeah i just Obviously, because now it's parted, I don't have to, you know, part lines. I just. And in front as well. And then. Yes, that's. I feel like moisturizing your hair with hair food when you have afro is like essential because what do you mean you depend on your natural oils after washing your hair like maybe because i keep my hair in like shampoo and conditioner for so long that when i wash it out i rinse it like multiple times i double wash like i double wash i double condition because I keep it in my braids for long but even so i just feel like my hair needs to be clean clean i don't feel like i feel like the first wash washes the most part out but not everything completely and then when you come in with the second wash then that washes everything and then you condition the first time and then that's you know moisturizing and also cleaning and then you do it again and then that's just like now it's squeaky clean you know big on hygiene even when it comes to your hair is important yeah okay and then you just wrap it in you know also when I, I, don't, I don't know if i showed it but i also take this and i rub it on my hands and after i had dried or before i had dried i just put it on and then i think that's why my hair is shiny because i also like i've gotten questions on how my hair shines but it's not like shrinking because the oil is like bringing it down or whatever my hair shrinks a lot like my hair is too coily like it coils a lot the minute it touches water it just shrinks back you legit think that i cut my hair and i didn't and it's like that because what i washed it or it touched water oh my god i want to show you guys my nails because i did my nails and it was so aesthetic i'll show you guys look ah look at this finger this one Can you tell i'm obsessed with my nails yeah growing them and maintaining them or whatever you know okay so after this then and now obviously my the position changed because i want to show you guys i said i used the amla oil hair um hair food and then i also use the dark and lovely grow strong hair food anti-dandruff with peppermint i love this like when i have my braids on I legit take this, rub it on my hands, rub it, rub it, till it's not white anymore because its color is like green. 
you know but then i take it and i rub it i rub it it turns oily like it loses its color and then you put it in your braids this smells so good it smells like peppermint it keeps my hair feeling fresh you know and then it actually helps with dandruff i don't suffer from dandruff but if i keep my braids in for too long then obviously it's prone to happen i mean you kept it in for too long your scalp might also flake i think those are just like normal things that happen when you keep in your braids for too long so i used this dark and lovely and i also use this moisturizer because i i like when i say i moisturize my hair i dare to moisturize my hair so these two products are literally like i don't know the best combo and these aren't even mine they're my mom's i just took them because yeah but yeah i love these two products the moisturizer i just put in a little bit it also makes your hair smell good obviously it's like a lovely product so you're gonna smell good but yeah that's what i wanted to say back to the original position and you better not be sitting there behind the screen and literally saying why did she change her position girl i can't like i know where my tribal is i think it's yeah well i think i know that. i think so i know that. right but anyways as i was saying i don't know where my tripod is but it's broken so i'm using like i legit put the hair food at the bottom and the, the, uh, my moisturizer and my gel are literally standing like this and my camera sitting there yeah talk about being innovative talk about a woman with a plan that's me i got a plan so either way that's why but now because i did that i'm just gonna take them all out Oh my god okay but my hair doesn't hurt as much it doesn't really if i'm being honest let me take all these knots out look at how easy that is. oh my god look at my hair look at my i'm gonna show you guys this picture of like my like the hair i used to measure the growth and tell me why my hair is legit growing bro so yeah i'm just gonna take these out i actually want to try this new straightening thing i'm gonna show you guys i'll be right back okay yeah as i'm still like doing my hair obviously you can see like at the end it's like this i just want to speak on a few things that i feel like people do that like they're like small tiny things that i stopped doing and i think they also contribute to the growth of my hair like being this big right um people like when you unbraid your hair you know there are those white these excess I don't know what to call it but like you know when you unbraid your hair and it's like white or it's matted together because you're putting in products on your hair people see that when they're unbraiding their hair and you take a comb and you want to comb through that through the pain and you should start i think you should stop doing that like li literally stop doing that when you get those white matted stuff you know what you should do you're gonna take like a shampoo if you don't have shampoo like a soap or just wet your hands and you're gonna take each root yes obviously because you're moisturizing your hair and if you want to take care of your hair you need to learn to be more gentle and more patient you know because afro really needs patience so you're gonna take like let me like illustrate you're gonna take like that pot right so it's just gonna be here by the roots you're gonna take whatever soap you're gonna put it here just to make it easier and you're gonna slightly like separate it you're not gonna comb through it no you're gonna lightly like separate it with your hands separate it separate it gently trying to like loosen up everything because what you do is you put it in your comb and you try to pull all that out and it's obviously gonna take out a lot of hair wait a minute okay i just i don't know i felt like my my camera was because i'm shooting with the front camera not the back one because i don't know anyways so like i was saying you comb like you put it in and then you're trying to pull everything obviously it's gonna break like obviously it's gonna come up with hair that was not even you know you don't have to lose hair because of that and i feel like that's why people's hairlines also like because you're trying to comb those white matted stuff out and it's ruining your hair like you need to learn to be more gentle so just gently take it separated with your hands for each one especially the ones in front because you know with the in front you're doing your edges and all those things and i feel like that's why i have just reduced the amount of times that i lay my edges like if i'm going to school 
who am i looking good for at school okay for myself yes but i don't do my edges all the time you don't have to do your edges to look good well sometimes you know when your braids get old that's when i'm like okay i get it but i don't you know i do but i've reduced it because it contributes to the matting and i know that i don't want to harm my hair like that so you separating it with your hand will let like cost less damage than you taking the comb and combing those white things out all the way out just separate it first and then take like a brush and brush gently to remove those things also if you just separate it and you have conditioner or shampoo or soap or just water it's gonna be so easier to just slide it off your hair but when you take a comb the comb is gonna take the roots with like it's just gonna take everything and pull some of the hair off your roots and it's just gonna i don't know i feel like it was a way of losing hair and i just stopped doing it and i think it's doing much better no i actually don't like the angle that i'm shooting at right now i don't because i have to move it wait let me fix this okay yeah i think my tripod is doing a better job even if it's limping or whatever but anyways yes i stopped doing that i legit like i literally stopped doing that it, it just stop doing it and you'll see exactly what i mean you know but then some of that cut but anyways okay so yeah i think that contributes major to your hair growth right you lose less hair you're breaking you you know you're taking care of your roots and your hair okay moving on number two I feel like people braid that like you braid your hair for two weeks and then you take it out and then you braid it again and then you take it out and like i get it, it's like protecting your hair but can you give your hair time to grow like can you give your hair time to you know grow with whatever protective style you've left it in i've from what i've seen i used to do that i used to change my hairstyles consistently all the time all the time all the time and then what i realized was I braid it today and then after like three weeks i want to unbraid it and do another hairstyle if you can do that and your hair's growing well while you're doing that good for you we're not the same right but then if i from my experience when you braid your hair and keep it in for longer when you take it out there's far more growth because you left it in for longer meaning the growth kept going and going and going when you braid your hair and then like when, when it's in braids then it's growing a lot and then you take the braids out and then that growth stops and then you keep it and screwing slowly 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 then you do braids again and then it's like now it has to restart growing fast again i don't know in my head that makes sense but it just grows better when you keep your braids in for longer so keep your braids in for longer and actually do braids that you know like your hair will grow in i think that as well um what is another thing don't overheat like don't damage your hair with hair dryers and all those things if like you hair dry your hair if like what i do is i if i had dry my hair right now like after i washed it obviously I, it wasn't braids i wash it i hair dry it because obviously I, my hair shrinks a lot you know after i okay after i hair dry it what I do is I either split it and then I take like wool and then I just wrap it around, wrap it around. You know those things that you do, you know, the many strokes on your hair. Or I do the bunch knot thing. Or I cornrow it, not cornrow, but like I braid it and I leave it in like that to maintain its length. So I don't have to hair dry all the time. I hair dry my hair once and that's it. Like I can keep my hair like for two weeks without hair drying it because consistently hair drying it is damaging your hair like because you know your hair doesn't need that much heat or too much heat so like try to avoid and like stay away from consistently hair drying your hair or breath like just any heat on your afro try to stop doing that also there is this oil okay let me go get it let me go get it okay back there's this oil right i don't know it is the castor oil for hair growth by native child native native child products never fail like they will they will work okay this is what i used first to like grow my hair and it like you will see massive growth like your hair will grow for my hair grew like crazy when i was using it but even when i've stopped using it my hair is still maintaining that another thing i do is 
once in a while just once in a while maybe like once in like a term maybe when i braid my hair i do that avocado egg oil thing mask and i put it in my hair and i leave it in for like 30 minutes and then i wash it off those natural oils from those avocados and the canola oil the olive oil all those oils i just leave them there and then i wash it off and my hair stays moisturized like it maintains its curls it it just works it works like crazy but also castor oil any type of castor oil, even if it's not native child from my experience every castor oil works but obviously this one is like specifically for hair so it works as well it works better i guess and it's more safer you know so yes uh what else something's off with my hair wait let me go do my hair and i'll come back and i'll spill everything that's crazy that is crazy it is crazy for one to look this good I know I don't freaking have makeup on. I just have lashes on. I wanted to try these new lashes that I got from Sheen. But I hadn't tried. And they're like lower. Like the volume is like less than the one I usually get. Here they are. You know, like they're those like um, ones that people get as strips. Not strips, man. Individual lashes. You know, that people get done monthly. Yeah. That's the shape I was there for. Or whatever. They're cute. I like them anyways as we were saying okay firstly we said don't comb those white matted stuff i'll google what they're called and i'll set a picture if you don't know what i'm talking about but i think you know what i'm talking about because i think every girly goes through that right and then we said that you have to brush those out or whatever okay so products that i use I already showed i said this oil and also i bought this if you haven't i bought this thinking that oh no you know what's written it said shine and hold wax so in my head i was like it's gonna lay my edges down girl no it didn't girl it's like hair food basically like it be smelling good though it makes my hair smell good i use it as hair food because it doesn't really do anything but i rarely use it but it makes my hair shine for real like it that purpose it delivers um i also bought this styling gel think that oh it's gonna lay my hair girl no it didn't it does not lay my hair like actually when i went to buy hair piece and i was going to braid my hair this woman legit said no buy this buy this this works this works girl it don't work it don't work like <sighs> it doesn't work i'm telling you it doesn't work and even if they braid you look you know how they part the lines and then they use this it's gonna freaking be white so don't do it don't do that to yourself a gel i recommend you use this I bought it from this camera. It is the Firm Hold Hair Studio Textured Finish. And it's full body control. And it is. I use this gel. It doesn't flake. Like it says here, non-flaking. It doesn't flake. Like those white things, that you, it's not good. This doesn't do that. I also use the Got To Be Glue, the yellow one, the small. I use that one, but it makes, like it has those white marks. So I'm not, like, not going to recommend it. It's strong. Like you can feel it. Like even if you, you know, it's not going to come out, but it has flakes. This one. This one it does not flake. I've never seen anybody talk about it, but it doesn't flake. It does not flake. So I highly recommend you use this because it doesn't flake, girl. So yeah, basically, those are the products. I don't really. Okay, I'm lying. Yes, I do use a lot of products. I do, but they're not that many. Okay, so. Okay, there's also this spray that I use um for when i have my braids on it is an anti-dandelion braid spray i use it for my braids um i use this and this together so for me those work like my i don't get dandruff no i don't get scruffle or whatever what is this on my crown what is this bro what it's like a hole it's in my anyways okay yeah so i use these together and for me when it comes to dandruff i don't experience that because of these two products the peppermint one and this this smells good this as well this is a bit oily you know it's gonna make your hair shine um yeah so 
when you detangle your hair like after you unbraid your braids going back to that get a comb with big teeth you know because i feel like this goes does a better job than this no not this one there's this other one you know the normal comb one there's this one and then there's the other one this one i use this like i don't if i'm using this i'm not gonna use it after i just unbraid it after you, you just unbraided your hair be as gentle as you can be to your hair like be so gentle so go in with this to just try try i don't think your hair should be hurting when you have an effort like i know people are like no it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt but gonna... me personally the pain that you all experience my pain is not as bad as that because i feel like i'm more gentle with my hair like if i'm combing and it hurts i pause like when i put in the comb here and it's not coming out i pause and then i take that part and i separate it with my hand because pulling it off with this this is why you guys use like a whole bunch of hair i unbraided my hair and this is the only breakage literally this is the only breakage that what this is glue yeah but this is the only breakage that i have had like i've shed since i did my hair like i want do you get that i washed my hair i comb and this is the only one because i'm more gentle with my hair i don't just you know you don't treat your hair like i don't know just be more gentle it's your hair it's you like you know when they say you treat yourself like you treat other people if it's someone else you wouldn't go on their hair you're gonna go gently doing it nicely nicely do this the same energy apply it to yourself when you do your hair patience don't like if you rush your hair and if you're trying to like be you know too rough on it it's gonna break because it's gentle it's your hair you know so you must learn to just be more gentle with your hair also the products that i use may not work for you you may have products that work for you use them girl like use what works for you whatever works for you whatever sells your boat that's okay you know not everything that works for me is gonna work for you clearly so yeah that also <laughs> many people often say this no not even but like you know when people are like oh mm, you're gonna have a what is it called a see-through afro hey 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 you have a see-through afro you have a see-through afro <laughs> i i wouldn't say i used to have one but it was like on the verge and i kind of have think okay it was not there but it was getting there you know and also i've kind of seen how other people treat their hair and their hair is like that and you kind of ask like what do you do to your hair like how do you treat your hair and you can you know hear what they do for it to be like that so you can avoid that so what i've noticed is that people head dry their hair a lot just to keep it big you know and you don't have to do that i know like braiding your hair or twisting it every night is a process but it's also a sacrifice and you are like reducing the chances of your hair just shedding and shedding and shedding and you know now you have to go bald because you don't want to be patient afro needs patience it needs a lot of patience so don't put like i'm emphasizing this don't head dry your hair a lot because i've kind of seen how it goes for every people like everyone who does and also for myself when i used to do it a lot stop it the minute you stop it and you actually like find other methods like i was saying braided use wool twisted bunch of knots before bed you know do all those things so that what so that you don't like you don't have to end up in that situation we don't want you having a see-through afro we don't want you standing in the sun and then we cut we legit see through your hair but also again people's hair textures are like different you know so you may hair dry your hair and it may look like that that doesn't mean that your hair is failing or anything you just have a different texture it may be softer you know so i also feel like trying to shut up have the have a boundary between you and people's opinions when it comes to your hair this is your crown this is your hair you know what it's like to have this you know what you do to maintain this hair and if it's working for you let it work for you regardless of what people think learn to shut people's narrative like society's narratives and people's thoughts and opinions that they feel they're so obligated to give away okay then to have a door and shut it let them see what they're saying from the other side of the door but you move on you keep on going working and whatever you're doing on your hair because one thing i've noticed is people are gonna talk like you're gonna go to school like also this is my real hair hey baba this is my real hair do you see that it's legit like my real hair 
so i'm trying to because the day i went to school let me tell you guys a story Evie. let me tell you guys a story i went to school with my hair once last term i think and i was being asked this question a lot like is that your real hair like is that a lip you know how guys think that because girls can tell their hair at the back and put that puff Lipondo. they thought i was wearing that or it was just so and i don't know what they thought it was it is not do you see how my hair is legit bouncing this is real this is hard work this is patience this is care okay it is real it is real yeah that's how i like to say it's real so as much as you can look at yourself and you're like oh i love my hair step out with that same confidence so that whoever says what out there it doesn't affect you don't let what they say affect you uh -uh. let just not even stand your ground but have a boundary to be like okay that's your thought that's what they think and clearly everybody's gonna think something everybody's gonna see something wrong with your hair but if you don't see what is wrong with your hair and you think your hair is pretty then it is to you and it's yours so everybody else's opinion is invalid irrelevant you don't have to give your opinion we don't care you know so you need to also have like that ground when it comes to you and your hair as much as sometimes you just like mistreating your hair and people are really people are obviously gonna have something to say about it you must also be willing to like be like okay if you're not willing to change your habits build a sense of confidence in your hair what if it's working for you and if you feel pretty in this hair do it about it and try to inflect your ideas on me hey, baba, no this is what's working for me and my hair and clearly it's doing very good so please please you relax your hair for your own reasons okay people get tired i get it like if you relax your hair i freak, I, I get it because your hair this is a lot of work i don't think you guys get people we don't see this enough having an afro is a full-time job so i completely get it when people relax their hair you know so yeah but don't try and flick that idea on me. As much as I complain about it, I love it. I mean, I look like this. So do you really think I'm going to want to relax and look like... I have had relaxed hair, actually. Lol. Giving history. Obviously, yeah. Why should I? I was about to feel bad and be like, no, let's not talk about it. But then I remembered that this is my channel. And yeah. But I used to have relaxed hair, like in primary. Like I used to be like, yeah. And I don't think that having hair like this for me is jeans. I don't know we just have different hair textures so i don't think it's jeans i think it's more about you identifying what type of hair you have and how your curls are go on pinterest i'll like show me some maybe i'll show like some pictures of how to tell or whatever but go on pinterest i know every girl should have pinterest like if you don't have pinterest what are you doing with your life but go on pinterest and literally search like how to on tiktok or instagram or whatever and there are so many methods to test what type of hair you have. And whenever you discover what type of hair you have, it is going to be more easier for you to like deal with your hair. Because now you know, okay, this is the type of hair I have. This is what my hair wants. So this is what it doesn't want. You know, for me, I can head dry my hair a lot, 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 lot. And it will become damaged. But for you, you might head dry your, you might head dry your hair every single day and it will still be the same. You know, that's totally okay because our hair is totally different. Even if we're all black different 4c 4b 4d whatever hair you have different so yeah identify what type of hair you have first before you like implement any of the advices i have also i feel like um as i keep evolving and finding better ways to grow my hair i will keep sharing and sharing and sharing you know but youtube i used to watch a lot of youtube like a lot of youtube like grade eight nine about hair i used to watch that a lot like consistently i wanted to know like hair how do you grow your hair and you're gonna find different methods aloe vera you're gonna find so many methods you know some people are gonna say buy this buy that buy that before you buy stuff try home remedies like stuff that you have and you can just make a concoction and you know use it on your hair and you never know like the whole avocado it's avocado olive oil canola oil whatever oil you have um uh, eggs yeah an egg um what else plain yogurt also works you pour it into the mixture and you just put it in your hair and you moisten and you let it sit or you cover it with plastic or a shower cap and then you wash it off 30 minutes later trust me your hair is gonna be so smooth it's gonna you know all that so yeah i think those are basically it this video is supposed to be very very short because i am trying to reduce 
and this is i didn't plan on taking this wave it just happened i was like you know what you always think about this and you never actually implement it and i was like no i'm not gonna change for a freaking youtube video because i want it to be more realistic i think watching more of wandi and Glow's, um content is making me want to be more authentic and genuine and be like no i don't have to change and wear like i'm going out and coming here to share stuff yeah so definitely not gonna do that yeah and that is it basically i think yeah thank you guys for watching and i hope like if you have any questions leave it in the comment section which i hope i leave open or i hope i can leave open because when i let me not even start but yeah guys look at my nails one more time one more time look at Oh my god yeah but as i was saying if you have any questions leave them down below or dm me because i'll i'll answer when have i not i'll answer and dm me on my social media i'll leave everything on the screen it should be on the screen and then i'll answer um that is the end of this video thank you guys for watching i don't think i did a verse of the day i'm gonna give you guys my favorite verse from the book of Matthew 7 verse 7 and it says ask and it shall be given seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be open to you and i want you guys to remember to wear this crown big small medium whatever size of how big or how small it is wear it with confidence knowing that this is yours because we used to guys as black people we used to not we used to be forced to tie this up and keep it in braids and all those things so embrace it because we come a long way to even have the freedom to even wear it like this so please anybody gonna tell me nothing and please remember to not touch people's hair don't touch her upper arm because she doesn't like it okay it's a lot of maintenance i'm just joking no i'm not joking actually take that back i'm not joking anyways thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video